In April of 2010, Google announced that they would be incorporating desktop site speed when determining search rankings. But it wasn't until 2018 when they also came out and announced that they would be incorporating page speed on mobile searches. So we've known for quite a while that page speed is important to Google. And recently here, I've been talking about how plugins are just one of the things that can actually slow down your website. And it can happen very quickly and easily if you are not paying attention. And that's why today I want to share with you seven very popular WordPress plugins that will actually slow down your website. These are some plugins that even have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of active installs, but people just aren't aware of how much they can be slowing down your website. But of course, sharing that wouldn't actually be helpful unless I gave you some alternatives. So not only are we going to look at these popular plugins that slow down websites, we're also going to be looking at some more lightweight alternatives so you can still have the same functions and features that you want on your website without having as much of an impact on speed. The first popular plugin we're going to look at is Elementor, and this is a very popular page builder. And as you can see, it has over 5 million active installs. So this is very highly used, but we're going to be using the free WP Hive Chrome extension that I introduced you to in the last video, where we looked at some ways to determine if your plugins are actually slowing down your website. So this is a great resource. And what we're looking for specifically is does this plugin have an impact on memory usage and page speed? So you see it does have a memory issue and we have some other issues here as well. So instead of using Elementor to build websites, I use Generate Press and I use this for all of the websites that I create. And Generate Press is the theme and Generate Blocks, as you see here, is the plugin that goes along with it. And this is the builder that helps you build out the various blocks and sections of your website. And as you can see, According to WP Hive, it has a very high rating. And simply by taking a website, switching it over to generate press, the page speed scores have really just skyrocketed. So that's why this is one that I always use for all of my sites. Now, if you need to back up a website, which is something you should be doing on a regular basis anyway, uh, a good plugin to be able to do that is called Duplicator. The only issue with Duplicator, if you keep it installed, is that it does have some other little bit of issues, even though it doesn't have as big of an impact here on uh, memory and page speed. But to keep it clean, I like to use Updraft Plus, and I do have a video on how to actually do this, even if you don't have experience backing up WordPress files, backing up the database that goes with your site, but this one scores very well as well. Now, another really popular plugin is Yoast SEO. So many people like to use SEO plugins. They have so many useful features. I'm not usually a big advocate of the multifunctional plugins, but when it comes to SEO, sometimes we end up with so many different SEO plugins. Sometimes it is easier just to go with one of the bigger SEO plugins, but we can see Yoast does actually have a memory usage issue. And so that's something to consider. So an alternative to that would be Rank Math SEO. Personally, for a number of reasons that I won't go into in this specific video, I always choose Rank Math SEO over Yoast SEO anyway. As you can see, Rank Math here scores it very well. Now, another popular plugin is called WordFence, and this is for your website security. And as you can see, it does have a memory usage. There is another one called All-in-One Security, uh, and this is also, as the name sounds, uh, for security as well. This is still a very popular one. It has over a million installs, as you can see, and it, it has a very good rating with WP Hive as well. So that is a really good option. Of course, as you get into some of these plugins and you really pay attention to the specific features that you need, then you'll want to compare and make sure because every plugin is going to be slightly different that it does have the very specific features that you are needing. Now, a contact form is a big one that a lot of people use a plugin that is really bigger than what they actually need for a single plugin. So if you don't have a big need for it, you don't want to use something like WP Forms that tends to be more complex unless it's really called for on your specific site. So we can see here that it does have some issues, even though it has over 5 million active installs. So a couple options here, you can use Contact Form 7, does have a good rating, it is still a very popular plugin. 
I still think we could go more lightweight even than Contact Form 7, depending on the features that you need. If you just need something simple, you know, you can always keep looking. There's a plugin like this, VS Contact Form, that scores very well, and it may perform light for you as well. Now, the last one we'll look at is in regards to social sharing. This is one that can slow down your website. We have a social media share buttons and social sharing icons plugin here that does show some page speed issues, even though it's still a pretty popular social sharing plugin. An alternative to that would be Mash Share. And as you can see, it does have a good rating here with the WP Hive. So definitely regardless of the plugins that you are deciding to use, sometimes just taking a couple extra minutes to look into the plugin like this, Make sure that you are not using a plugin that has a lot more features than you actually need. Make sure that it has a good rating and this can help you with your page speed scores. If you have any questions about any plugins or page speed and how those relate or any good ones to use, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Thank you so much for spending this time here with me and I'll catch you next time.